Oh, Uncle Roger got another Asian present for you. MSG. Ah, look at this. <gasps> Hi guys, it's Chiro. Today I'm gonna review Uncle Roger Tries by Yuan Yang Fried Rice. So the Yuan Yang Fried Rice is kind of like a Hong Kongian thing, right? But I'm not very familiar with because I'm living far away from the sea. To be honest, I never tried Yuan Yang Fried Rice. So let's see what will happen and don't forget to give a like or subscribe if you want. <laughs> Seems that they had a nice time. I feel like they're having a date. Hello and welcome back to Yeah, Friday and we were Friday. April together. I saw Uncle Roger roasted my Young Joe fried rice video. Young Joe fried rice. Yes, I also reacted that. I think that Young Joe fried rice is not authentic enough. So we're gonna make a Cantonese classic. Oh uh, yeah, fried Cantonese rice. classic. I really like Cantonese food. It tastes so delicious. And unlike Sichuanese food, Cantonese food don't use much spices. So it needs a higher level of the ingredients themselves. That's why some dish can be really expensive. Okay, so Yuan Yang fried rice is mean that two different flavor in one rice. Yuan Yang fried rice is a classic of Cantonese okay, cha okay. Like, um, Introduction. Cha cha ting. <laughs> Hong Kong rice, is cha cha ting. One red and one white. I'll start with the red okay, sauce. Okay, okay. So it's kind of like the traditional Chinese thing, like yin and yang. Tomato ketchup, vinegar. Oh my god, stock, do you guys notice the background sugar, music? Of course, tomato, it's still so sauce, weird. I feel like I'm going to heaven. A nice knife. My marinade ingredients for the chicken are going to be a touch of salt. What? A little I, bit. I pay much attention to the BGM. Damn. Starch, white pepper. Nice marinade. One thing with Cantonese cooking is a lot of effort is put into these kind of stir fry marinades because uh -huh. it provides so much flavor to the meat. And actually, quite often, you have a lot of Why savory he's suddenly speak so fast? The marinade of the meat itself. A touch of water in here is actually quite important. So, it, with the salt, it almost becomes a bit of a brine and it will make your meat nice. Really? With the prawns, pretty simple. Again, a touch of bicarb of soda. I'm already Salt. really sleepy today because I stay up late playing game last night and he cooking like this. Where is Uncle Roger? So I'll set that aside for just like sort of 10, 15 minutes and I'll give it a rinse and we'll be ready to cook the prawns. Okay, so okay, okay. Sauce, a bit of ketchup. What? Vinegar. Why did they put everything into a small bowl and Touch transfer sugar. them into a big bowl? Kind of you have to like wash this. lots of and plates and bowls. And then some stock. <laughs> the white sauce actually well, everything is so slow. Where is Uncle I'm Roger? The, the I'm even wearing the t-shirt for him, well, okay? It's kind of a Western Chinese. Okay, evaporated milk. Evaporated milk really good. You can use it for making Hong Kong milk tea. It tastes really good. You also see this similarly in Japanese culture, which is like Doria, which is rice with mm -hmm. kind of bechamel oh, okay. on top of it. This is a okay, okay, Hong thanks Kong for the explanation. Stock. Thanks so for the explanation. Stock. But can we cook faster? Evaporated milk, or you can use cream. And then I'm going to thicken that with flour slurry. So the liquid, say like stock. All right, I can't stand this. Okay, okay. I jump to the chopping part. Again, just cutting those into wedges. Nice chopping. A very good filter. All the cooking videos, they have a very beautiful filter. Alright, well let's make our sauces first before we get onto the fried rice. So as always, hot wok, cold oil. Wok, wok right. <gasps> nice tossing. I still can't toss very good. Now the onions and tomato. Yeah, just don't wash your work. Maybe a touch more stock. Wouldn't that be too wet? To the sauce to cook through fully, and we'll add in just enough. Of Wait, the cornstarch you add the cornstarch now? So for us, mostly just add the cornstarch at the end of the cooking because in that period you need to like turn on the heat. Suddenly the water just become more thicker and it tastes really good. It's okay if you just add it earlier. He is more professional than me, right? Okay, okay, look good, look good, look good. Just like the chicken, I'll get that out straight away. 
and then in with the onions. I think he could cook more crispy. Green peas. This is this must be frozen peas. I don't like frozen peas. And I'll thicken that with the cornstarch slurry too. Now, lastly, evaporated milk. Oh shh! Wait, evaporated milk is peas. Perfect. Two sources done. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. It's kind of like now a mashed potato. Or right, potato fried soup. Rice time. Most of the fried rice videos I do in this channel are actually made with Japanese rice or shikari rice because I like that better than jasmine rice. The rice That's too expensive. Yangzhou fried rice shouldn't use Japanese rice. It's a Chinese thing. But today, because you all complained about it being sticky and Uncle Roger complained about the rice being too sticky. Yeah, don't I'm touch rice like that. Way of doing hygiene, rice hygiene. But this is jasmine rice. Not the uh, Japanese rice that's been cooked with a touch Jasmine of oil. Jasmine rice. The grains stay we mostly just use like Dongbei rice. Dongbei is the northeast provinces in China, and the rice from there tastes really good. It's not silver over gold, but gold over silver because you want a nice yellow fried rice to contrast with the white and the red. So to make sure I really get. <sighs> rice I have to say the taste is much <laughs> important <laughs> than the it's look. Roger. Hello, hello. Finally, Let's finally, he <laughs> came. I'm nearly sleepy. Okay, now I'm gonna be more energetic. Good to see you finally. Almost Can you stop you. this bitch? I'm dying. Big improvement. Big improvement. <laughs> Why he looks so flurry all the time? You're not sticky like your children's sock anymore. <laughs> the teenager children's sock. You make fire rice with Japanese. Koshihi curry rice? Usually, yeah. yeah. Koshihi curry rice? <laughs> that wrong but very posh. <laughs> wrong but posh. Oh my god, everybody started to laugh with the Miranko Roger. In my review video, I complained about the music in the video. So, editor, cut this shit. What is this music? Cut I like this. the music. I like the Oh my god, finally, Yoga finally it stopped. Not in Bali right now. Hiya. Okay, Uncle finally, Roger, finally, Uncle finally, Roger. finally, finally, a normal background music. I'm back, I'm back. To Asianify your kitchen, make your kitchen more Asian. Uncle Roger brings some Asian present for you. Oh, look. Look MSG. at this. <laughs> Joystick. <laughs> for you to pray, what you want to wish for, just pray to this. I wish Uncle Roger get out of my kitchen. I wish you a better career. <laughs> I, uh, Oh, so there's a saying, we're Asian eat rice, right? We put the rice in a bowl. As a children, I was told that you are not allowed to directly put the chopstick on the rice, otherwise it looks like this. That is for like mowing for deaf people, which is not good, especially for Chinese people who believe in feng shui. So you better not do that when you are in China. By the way you like this, I can Why they do this in the kitchen? I'm praying for Auntie Esther to fall in love with me. I just want to be <laughs> Poor to Esther. Me. I'm praying for lightning strike down Auntie Helen. Alright, let's get some fried rice. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yin yang fried rice. Yes. Very good. Yin yang. Wait. Roger, can't is wait. it yin yang or yin yang? I'm Gold so confused right silver. now. So, the egg goes onto the rice. <laughs> oh, Uncle Roger, got another Asian present for you. MSG. Ah, look at this. <gasps> This is really nice! This is really nice! <laughs> I bring this all the way from London. <gasps> this is my meat shelf. I get people to beat my meat on here. See? Come at them. Come beat my meat. Come. <laughs> He's flashy! Come. Never. He's flashy. <laughs> I really like those things, the love chung. Nephew Adam, one question. Do you have the most magical ingredient when you make this fried rice? MSG. What is the most magical ingredient for making fried rice? In Uncle Roger's favorite white powder, MSG for you! <laughs> Almost get stopped at Australia Airport. <laughs> hi, uh, hi, uh. I don't think Australia Airport would allow you to bring MSG, but you, you, you are not allowed to bring the lob chang like every meat because my friend was trying to bring some meat to Australia and she was charged like $400. That's too costly for a lob chang. So we're gonna sprinkle some when you're frying the rice, okay? 
Okay, okay. I love MSG. I use MSG in every meal. Yes. Just splash oil. <laughs> Why it's suddenly a rock and roll star? <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> we oh, rice looks good. See, not sticky this time. Yeah. So now you just got to put. Maybe want to make fried the rice tomorrow. Down and the right side down. You can do the fancy yin yang shape if you want to, but I don't think so. I don't think it's necessary. No, it. I it think it's nice. just a uh, like gai jiao fan. And shape. Don't half ass your cooking video. Hi, yeah. Oh my god, you have to wash so many pots. I won't do this fried rice. Too many pots to wash. And that is yin yang, yun yang, fried rice. Why don't you like sprinkle some green onion? <laughs> ah, finally, the only Asian thing in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. That was alright. No good. Wait, will you mix them together or is just eat them separately? I like it. Right side now. It looks good. Okay, okay, so you don't mix them together. Why is it even better? Why don't you find a seat to eat? It's so tiring to stand there eating. Not bad, if you add them. Not bad. <laughs> If you okay, add them, <laughs> Uncle Roger gonna call you Uncle Adam from now on. Oh you. yeah, <gasps> Uncle Adam now. But I still gonna talk shit. Really good, time. really good. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching this with me. This is really interesting because as a Chinese, I should have learned about like Yuan Yang fried rice, but I don't. Maybe it's because there are too many provinces in China. I don't have a chance to like go travel around China and eat every food. But I believe that I will try more food in the future. Maybe someday I will just travel around and do my own like food vlogs from different part of China, something like that. But sadly, we are still locked down, so I don't have a chance to travel. Okay guys, thank you for watching this with me again and don't forget to give me a like or subscribe if you want and hope you have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye!